Hi there. My name is Jamie Burr, and I'm the director of the Human Performance and Health Research Lab here at the University of Guelph. My name is Christian Chung, and I'm a PhD student and lead author on a recent study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, which has been chosen to be included in the American Physiological Society's APS Select section. We want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching the following video abstract. Globally, cardiovascular disease is amongst the most prevalent classes of non-communicable diseases and is the leading cause of death. One of the most well-established hazards to cardiovascular health is cigarette smoking. Similar to cigarettes, cannabis is commonly smoked and is also extremely prevalent. Despite this prevalence and parallels with cigarette smoking, it is not well understood how habitual cannabis use affects cardiovascular physiology or how it impacts cardiovascular disease risk. The goal of our study was to address this knowledge gap. To do so, we examined the structure and function of both the heart and arteries in young healthy individuals who use cannabis regularly and those who do not. Specifically, we examined measures of arterial stiffness, vascular endothelial function, and cardiac structure and function measured by echocardiography. We had participants come into our laboratory where we first measured their height, their weight, and their resting blood pressure. Our first measurement estimates arterial stiffness and is known as pulse wave velocity. In this measurement, we measure the time it takes for the pressure wave to travel down the length of the aorta. A greater pulse wave velocity indicates greater arterial stiffness. After we determine pulse wave velocity, we assess vascular endothelial function using a reactive hyperemia flow mediated dilation test. In this test, we use an ultrasound device to image the brachial artery. After one minute of baseline imaging, we occlude blood flow to the artery for a period of five minutes. Once blood flow is restored, we measure the degree of vasodilation in the artery. The final portion of our study also uses ultrasound imaging. However, this time we examine the heart. This technique is known as echocardiography. It allows us to quantify the structure, function, and movement of the heart throughout the cardiac cycle, both at rest and with the added stress of hand grip exercise. When examining pulse wave velocity, we can see that cannabis users have significantly greater pulse wave velocity than non-users. This suggests that cannabis users have greater arterial stiffness than non-users, which would be associated with greater risk of future development of cardiovascular disease. Turning our attention to the results from our FMD test, we can see that there were no differences between cannabis users and non-users. Finally, we can see that left ventricular structure, systolic and diastolic function, as well as right ventricular and atrial structure, do not differ between cannabis users and non-users. However, when looking at cardiac mechanics using speckle tracking technology, we see that left ventricular movement is mostly similar between groups, with the exception of apical rotation and rotation rates, which were lower in cannabis users. To summarize our study, we found that cannabis users had greater arterial stiffness and altered cardiac mechanics, but similar endothelial function compared to non-users. This concludes our video abstract. If you've enjoyed this abstract, we encourage you to read our full publication, which can be accessed on the American Physiological Society's website.